Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwa and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're a brand new visitor to my YouTube channel and have no idea what my videos are all about, I love talking about things I'm passionate about, man. Movies, comic books, video games, I do hauls, reviews, unboxings. If that's the type of thing you're into, you may want to check out my other content. And if you like what you see, do subscribe. And if you like what you see here and want to learn more about me, I got a Twitter, I got an Instagram. If you like video game related stuff, I also got a Twitch. It's the same username all throughout, David A. Qua. So here's another one of those videos that no one asked for, but hopefully people like them. You guys already know I do uh, anime hauls, anime reviews on my YouTube channel, you know, do like unboxing videos of series and stuff. Attack on Titan, Death Note, Evangelion, My Hero Academia, the Dragon Ball series, etc, etc. I've done tons of videos, okay? Well, here's another one that's anime related. It's my Otaku USA Magazine Collection. <clears throat> so you guys already know there's a bunch of uh, anime magazines out there. This is kind of like the last one. Okay, that's still around. That's still printing. Everyone knows about New Type, right? Anime Insider, Shonen Jump. Well, they stopped making uh, printing magazines. You know, Talk of USA. You can go to a Kroger's or a Walmart or something. You, you'll still you'll still see it on shelves. Okay. So um, for those of you who don't know much about uh, a Talk of USA, it's based in Virginia. The first issue came out in uh, around 2007. It is a bi-monthly anime and manga magazine. And its editor-in-chief is, uh, I believe his name is Patrick. Okay, Patrick M. Well, we're just going to go through the collection real quick. Talk about, you know, favorite articles and whether you should subscribe to them or not. And what do each of these issues contain, you know. There's more out there. I, I don't have every single issue, but uh, you know what I would love? I would love all the Evangelion ones. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Evangelion, you know. So I, I got like, I got the the mangas. I got the, uh, uh, the DVDs and Blu-rays here. Got the Platinum Edition, you know, collection, uh, complete series set here and stuff, you know. Oh, you guys want to know something? I bought some uh, face masks. Everyone knows what's going on right now in the world. It's 2020, uh, uh, June 2020. And currently right now, we're still in the coronavirus pandemic. A lot of people are quarantined. People are, you know, staying indoors, trying to avoid. And when you go, do go, have to go out to get groceries or whatever, um, you should wear a face mask. Well, I bought a couple face masks. I want to show it to you guys real quick, okay? Got them on eBay, $10 for four of them. So I got two of these, two of these, okay? So for those who, who like uh, Sword Art Online, I got a face mask here with Kito and Asuna, okay? Uh, if you haven't uh, checked out my videos, I've been uh, playing the Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet video game. Currently, right now, okay. And I did uh, make some playlists on my YouTube channel of previous games and series, okay. So let's wear this face mask real quick, and I'll show you what it looks like. Here, hang on. I think that even after coronavirus is done, I will still wear face mask because I think it's. Uh, I love my fellow human beings, you know, and if I get sick or whatever, I'm going to have to wear, uh, wear a face mask. I, I'm going to make a habit of it. Okay. Take a look at my face. What do you guys think? I actually wore this to uh, the grocery store. I went to uh, the Walmart neighborhood. Okay. And one girl commented, nice face mask. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, here's my face mask. Sort of online with Kirito. Right there, okay. The other face mask is just the logo, see? Sort of online, 
It's got the sores that you see here, the hole and stuff like that. Okay. So, that's a little, a little haul that I've done recently. Okay. A Taco USA has covered many different articles, many different animes through the years. They not only uh, review anime and manga, there's also like a cosplay section. If you like comic cons and anime conventions and stuff like that, um, they actually have like you know, highlights, uh, uh, cosplayers, recent cosplayers and stuff like that with, you know, uh, photos of, of them dressing up and whatever, you know. Uh, there's also video game reviews, okay? So here, I'm just gonna open up one random. Inside you see advertisements, new series and stuff, okay? Feature articles, interviews, behind the scenes related stuff. They have like a, a letter to the editor sort of thing. And then you have select anime reviews, right? Every single issue. has their anime reviews okay so that one talks about that series and this one talks about that series okay anime reviews and of course there's manga reviews okay many of them uh, manga reviews so any new series new volumes of you know ongoing series and stuff like that should you check them out well, these guys are the experts, you know? These guys know what they're talking about. They've seen everything. So when it comes to, like, uh, opinions on whether I, uh, someone should check out an anime or a new series or a new movie or TV show, new video game or whatever related to anime like Final Fantasy or Sword Art or Attack on Titan video game or whatever, you know, I go with these guys, okay? And, uh, yeah, they have game reviews. So <clears throat> Tales of uh, Vesperia, okay? This one, the game reviews of Marvel vs. Capcom and Pokemon, you know. This one over here, video game reviews, Super Mario Bros. for the Wii, Bayonetta, Dragon Ball, okay. So each of these issues have their own reviews. Man, I'd be sitting in the bathroom sometimes, you know. And I'm like, I I I'm not going to wipe until I uh, read the rest of this article. <laughs> so let's see, this one... Some anime reviews, they have Evangelion, okay? Manga reviews, some game reviews, got Donkey Kong, okay? Pac-Man. Et cetera, et cetera, guys. Like, each of these issues have their own reviews of, uh, anime, manga, game reviews, okay? Fist of the North Star. Game reviews this one has punch out okay whatever so if you're into that type of stuff check it out okay i'm pretty sure taco usa will appreciate some uh subscribers you know uh, i'll be honest with you i'm not subscribed to them uh i just buy them straight from the uh from the shelves you know <laughs> i would like flip through them for a little bit and if it has some good articles or good reviews in there, I'll, I'll actually buy it, you know? If it has Evangelion on the front cover, heck, I'll, I'll buy it. I know there's one issue uh, when Evangelion, the third movie, came out. I don't have that one. And uh, I, I missed my chance, you know, to get in stores and stuff. And uh, now if you want that issue, it's like, it's like the same price as a subscription. <laughs> as a full-blown year subscription. So I, I missed out on that one, man. Uh, I don't know. So, just want to spread the word about Taco USA. They've done, uh, like, these guys done other ones, too. Uh, like, done the Cosplay USA magazine once. Um, I've seen it in stores and stuff, but, uh, but yeah. Alright, guys. So, if you're wondering what t series I'm watching right now uh, concerning anime, I'm watching the Subasa. It's kind of like a... Uh, you know, uh, swords and knights and, you know, fa fantasy sort of story, you know what I'm saying? Kind of think of Lord of Rings or whatever. Um, <clears throat> a lot of you guys want me to check out Naruto, 
I've seen four episodes and I live stream my reaction to it, watching the first four episodes. That video's got over like a thousand views and people are loving it. And they say, David, do more and stuff like that. Well, I guess I have, sometime I have to go to the store, some type of, like I, when, when stores start to open up and stuff again, you know, I can go to Half Price Books or something, maybe, maybe they'll have it there. And hopefully they have like the first season and watch the rest of the first season or whatever. But I know it's like multiple different series, you know, like when the Ruther grows up and stuff, different generations or whatever. I don't know. There was like a million episodes of that show. I don't know if I'm ever going to catch up. My cousin Joseph loves that show and uh, I want to get into it too, you know. A lot, everyone keeps telling me how good this show is and right now all I'm really checking out is just I'm watching reruns of Dragon Ball and watching Attack on Titan as they come out and, you know... You know, <laughs> so I'm just watching and, you know, what I have, you know. All right. Well, I guess that's it. I'm rambling off long enough. Let's see if I can get a thumbnail here. Yeah, thumbnail. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everyone. Be sure to comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.